I was just gonna go over my machine. It's a 1991, right? Uh, I thought it was a 90. Mine's it's a 90. 90. That makes it 34 years old. Uh, you guys have seen vlogs throughout the past five or six years. It's just an old beast. It was abused before I got it. Um, it's been giving us problems. Um, in the last couple vlogs, you guys saw we had to tow it home. Um, this time it's really given up the ghost. Is that what the old saying is? So down in there, Joe says, the crankshaft bearing is like literally coming out of the engine block. So we have an idea of, um, well, well, Joe's pretty confident he can fix it. So it, this is our best way to fix it. There we go. It's like almost as good as new, Joe. Well. I do what I can. Dude, you just, you made it look sharp. You fixed it. It's, it's a little bit better than a MacGyver fix. So. You had to throw a little money at it, but we got it running. Yeah, we got it running. It doesn't, it doesn't even look like a Jag really anymore. Yeah. But anyways, all right. For reals, for reals. Uh, my machine is now officially a parts machine for Joe's Jag. Um, Joe's Jag is still running really good for the most part. Uh, Joe's is 33 years old. Um, so it's just time to upgrade. We're getting tons of firewood and we just can't be without a spare machine. So now Joe's Jag is our spare machine. Mine is a parts machine and Joe and Bonnie just went to town and picked this thing up. So we'll go back in time a little bit on this vlog and uh, Joe and Bonnie drove it home and we're just super stoked to have it. So now this is a 2013 and this is a 2016 and uh, we've already been putting it to work. We'll show you that in this vlog. We gotta get firewood this time of year. Let's go. step away from the uh, engine there for a second so Bonnie and I are making an impromptu trip to town uh, we just decided last night as you know Zach can't magically change uh, or I can't magically fix Zach's machine into this new nice Articat um, not brand new but new to us so we've been in the market for uh, another Bearcat for a while now. We absolutely love this one that we have and machines breaking down has forced our hand. Um, this one came up for sale. Really good deal uh, for our location and uh, in really good shape. So that's what we're doing. We're going to town to pick up this machine. I'll show you a little bit more along the way. All right, guys, we are out here at an undisclosed location somewhere in Palmer, uh, the valley, Palmer, Alaska. And I have picked up the snowmobile. It is another Arctic Cat Bearcat. Uh, you will get the reveal at the trailhead. Bonnie and I have a few more stops to make. We have to pick up some supplies from a friend, um, some moose burger. Uh, we're going to drop an ice chest off with another friend and yeah, um, a few more stops. But right now, Bonnie and I are going to have lunch, a little date. Uh, we don't get, get much time without um, our daughter, Emma. We love her to pieces, uh, but in five years, I think this is our second date. So we're looking forward to it. We're going to go have a nice, uh, nice, enjoyable lunch and uh, then get back on the trail here. You ready for lunch, babe? Let's go. There she is. 
as always, I got in a rush and I forgot to uh, video at the trailhead for the big reveal, but that is the reveal. <clears throat> it's a 2016 uh, Articat Bearcat 570 XT. It's a wide track um, and it, it's a beaut. Came with a nice cover, came with a nice uh, rear bag there, but I can't spend a lot of time talking about it. I gotta get home because we have dinner. We got Papa Murphy's pizza and the kids are hungry and I think it's almost six o'clock. Yeah. So let's catch up to Bonnie. Uh, I might have to get involved. I was gonna try and stand. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try and record this one. That's a tall tree. Nice work. I uh, was literally replying to an inquiry for the lodge while Joe started cutting his uh, wedge on this one. So it's, uh, it's, it's funny to be out here in the middle of nowhere and still get cell reception, but whenever there's a potential booking for the lodge, I, I stay on it. I like to talk to people and, and uh, get them the answer they want as quick as possible so they can keep planning their trip. And that usually turns into bookings. The lodge bookings are uh, they're, they're good this year. We're gonna be busy. So I'm just trying to stay on those emails as they come through. So I got to pause from the emails. I got to stop one work and uh, grab the chainsaw and start the other one. <laughs> Emma Lou, you ready to go home? Yeah, I'm very ready. All right, we got lots of logs here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got a good load. Having a third machine makes a lot of difference, especially when you got a 11-year-old who's willing to drive it. Hi. Having the 
2016 Bearcat getting us back in business for logging season. <sighs> Hopefully it lasts us a long time. It's nice to have good equipment. Right, Piper? <laughs> Joe keeps accidentally pushing her button in his pocket there. All right, time to get home and eat some lunch. Woo! Good wood load. <laughs> Good job, dude. Can I get a thumbs up? We got part of the crew here with us today. Hey, Bo. Bo. Wave at the camera. We got Bo and Chloe and Piper and... You got a little alder cone? I got a pine cone. Oh, a pine cone. Okay. Off of an alder bush. Eileen is not here. She is at home making cookies with mom. So you guys can have cookies when we get back. Joe and I think this is going to be the last day this week that we get uh, firewood. Look at this gorgeous day. It's a perfect day to be out getting firewood, but the rest of the week is supposed to turn off and uh, be garbage. High winds, more snow um, for, for mid-April. Kind of a bummer to be getting more snow. But that's how it is out here. We can't complain. Uh, our average this year is a lot lower. So um, I, we know that all the April snow is going to melt off pretty quick anyway. We'll go check in on what Joe's doing. So I just fell a tree right there, and then Bo needed a potty break, so Joe's taking over. We've got four trees down right now, making a mess right there. And we usually need about five or six trees to load up all three machines. So that's our goal this morning. We've got uh, one, two, three, four trees. We'll be on our way home soon, and I think that will do it for this episode. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>